Okay, YouTube, I am back at the park. I know I said my last video was my uh, last of the year, but <laughs> the weather just keeps getting better. Uh, it is currently about 55 out right now, which is not bad at all. Um, and the last time I was at this park, I was just walking out and was hitting a whole bunch of really cool signals all of a sudden, but I'd already decided to leave for the day. So uh, I was kind of bummed that I'd have to wait till possibly next year to come back here and kind of check this corner behind me because that's where I was finding all the, the really cool stuff. Um, so I'm back and I'm gonna check it out and I hope I find some really cool stuff. So I don't know, I keep saying it, this could be my last time of the year. I'll just call myself a liar at this point. <laughs> and I'll keep coming out as long as I can, uh, as long as the weather holds out. So without further ado, let's start digging and see what I can find. Here we go. I apologize about the wind. It just picked up a little bit, so I hope it doesn't ruin the video. Uh, just dug this guy here, and I uh, was about to pop my pinpointer down there and looked over to the left, and look at that. There it is. Looks like we've got... <laughs> At least part of a key. Might have gotten hit by a lawnmower or broken off. Let's take a look. Can't tell what that says. Scylla USA. really on the back. Huh. Okay, just a few feet from that key, got a pretty strong signal here. I'm gonna bring it up in the copper range. It's right there, and it's pretty big. And uh, I'm a little excited about this one. It looks like a coin. Guess we'll find out together. Too thick to be a coin. <laughs> I think this is another makeup compact. That's really funny. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, I can see the hinge and everything. Well, let me clean this up a little bit and I'll let you know if I can find anything. Okay, so I've definitely found another rouge tin. Uh, this one says Cheek Rouge and it's by Irresistible. Look this one up really quick online. This is a 1935, I think. 1935 or 1937, which is very, very close to the uh, other rouge I found, which is a 1932. So clearly somebody in this park, at least if there used to be a house here maybe, used a lot of rouge in the 30s. So that's pretty cool. This one's a little bit less ideal condition than the last one I found, but I'll still try to pry it open when I get home. It looks like it actually is already split open. So I I'm doubting there's anything on the inside, but it's worth a look. You can actually even still see the logo a little bit there. Kind of cool. All right, we got a big hit about three inches down here. I just hit it, peeking out there, it's a little green, not sure what that is, Let's take a look, it looks like it might be a car, hmm, I think it's a toy car, no maybe not. I am not sure what this is. It could just be a piece of scrap metal. Oh, I know what this is. This is a handle from a toy gun. Oh, wow. Or maybe a gun. Who knows? No, it's a toy gun. It's way too small. I'm going to clean this up. Take a look at that together. That's pretty cool. There it is. A little handle. Now, the good news is... I think there might be more of it because I'm still getting a hit. So I'm going to keep digging and see if I can find the rest of it. Found this little piece. I think that might have been the trigger at one point. I don't think there's anything else. I'll sweep around there a little bit and see if I can find the rest of it. It'd be cool to find the whole thing, but so far it might just be these two pieces. Still pretty cool.
Okay, I found the uh, handle to the gun right here, and I just dug this signal, and it looks like I found part of the barrel. It's got a little star in it, which is pretty cool. Looks like it must have just gotten hit by a lawnmower a long time ago and scattered around. That's really neat. Alright, gotta collect all the pieces. <laughs> it's gonna take a little while. Okay, I think I just hit silver. Can you see it? Right there. Let's take a look. What do we got? Oops. That is... No date. There's more. I was just about to bury this up and I decided to take one last look just in case there was a coin spill and I think we've got a coin spill. There's something at the tip of that plug and I was getting something here a second ago but it's not it's not coming up now so let's, let's take a look. We'll find out live. Okay. Yep, there's that one. What do we got? There it is. That looks like a penny. We got a weedy. Nineteen forty-four. Nice. Okay, pretty happy with that. I'll take it. Up here, I've got a sig uh, silver signal. Oh, there it is. I can see it. Yes, I got two. Coin spill. Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, I don't want to scratch it up. It's another... Yep. And we got ourselves another... That's my first silver coin spill. Wow, nice. Super happy about that. There you go. Two silvers in one hole and a weedy. I love it. Oh, guys, this is great. So I've already got three coins from this little area right here. I just found a fourth. And we've got another wheat penny. I think I it with What is the date? I'm guessing it's the 40s. No, 1951. Nice. Add another one to the collection. Okay, we got something under this tree root here. It's poking out right there. That's looking like that gun I found earlier. What is this? <laughs> it looks like an old tank. Oh, this looks pretty cool. Or an old cannon. Like a toy cannon. This is really cool. Well, I'll be cleaning this up and I'll let you guys know what I find here. It's looking promising. This is pretty cool. I, I'm guessing it's from the 50s. It just, it looks like an, I mean, it used to have wheels on it, obviously, or tracks. Might have had tank tracks on there. Um, but it looks, it's an old gun. It's heavy. I'm not sure what kind of material it is. It might be lead. 
It looks like he used to have some orange paint on it at one point. But that's a pretty cool looking thing. An old tank toy. Pretty neat. I, the one day I didn't bring my brush, of course. I can't really clean it up all that great. But that's pretty amazing. I don't see any maker's marks on it or anything like that, unfortunately. But I'll try to clean it up more when I get home. Pretty happy with that one. That's cool. Okay, continuing on the uh, cutlery theme. Looks like I've dug up a knife. A little butter knife. I'm gonna take a look at this and see if I can get a date on it. I don't see any markings on it. Man, this looks old. It's pretty old. I believe it's copper and it might have been plated at one point. Really interesting. It's just so rough. Hmm. I'll keep it. Okay, right at the base of this tree, I got a coin hit. And it's right in the tangle of these roots. And I've been trying to pick at it to get it out. But man, it is stuck in there good, which is a good sign. And I think I see it. Yep, there it is right there. Can you see it? Nope, I got it. It's small. Ooh. What do we have here? What is this? That is a English coin. Oh, it's Canadian. It's a Canadian scent. Fooled again. <laughs> 1993. That looks really old for 1993. And I don't recall seeing a Canadian coin like that. It's got flat edges, but oh well. Got excited for a second. Pretty cool still. Okay, at the base of another tree, got something else, and it looks to be another spoon. And this one's under some roots, so it's been here a while. I'm gonna try to jimmy it out uh, without bending it too badly. We might have to get rid of this root. Uh. There it is. Alright, here it is. Yep, it's a spoon. <laughs> Maybe I can get a date on this one too. We'll try. See what I can find. Yep, so this is a, an old silver plate spoon. Uh, it's looking like it might be from 1900, which is pretty old. It says WB, which is Williams Brothers. And uh, yeah, there you go. I'll clean it up later and see if I can find anything else on it. I believe it says state on there, states. So that's kind of interesting. Cool find. Okay, let's take a look and see what I found today. First off, go figure, pull tab, of course. Uh, some change, nothing too crazy there. I uh, got one dime that's probably spendable. Broken off key, <clears throat> the uh, makeup compact, pretty cool. I'll have to look at that one later. A, uh, <laughs> a little Nerf thing, that was kind of funny. Uh, genuine zinc cap mason jar for ball jars. That's kind of cool, it's glass. A uh, little screw, the remnants of the toy gun. I uh, can't find the rest of it, unfortunately, but that's a good good amount of it. Um, two tanks. I found this guy shortly after I found that one. Uh, this is a little bit more modern. 
remember playing with something like this when I was a kid. Uh, this guy, probably the find of the day as far as uh, little artifacts go. I love that thing. It's pretty cool. I'm going to clean that up when I get home. It's going to look pretty neat, I bet. And then, big finds. Thought that was a big find. <laughs> Turned out not to be a big find. Oh well. I'll pop it over there. Uh, but the really big finds, we got two wheat pennies and then two silver dimes. So I'm super happy about that. All from the 40s and 50s. They're in great shape. Um, I don't think they were really used too much before they dropped on the ground. Really happy about that. All in all, a pretty successful uh, day for about an hour and a half, two hours. Pretty amazing stuff. Uh, I'll be coming back out here to this park probably next year because I have that whole back corner over there that I have yet to explore. Really all I did was from about there to there and I found all that stuff. So it's clearly not been touched at all back there and I'm excited to find out what's in that corner. So until next year, <laughs> this is the Hidden Artifacts channel signing off once again. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, for liking videos, for leaving comments. Um, I've definitely got some fans that make sure to leave comments every single time and I appreciate that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy what I do and I can't wait to do more. I will see you guys soon. Keep digging. Went to go sit in my car after filming the video and sat on these guys. <laughs> I totally forgot they were in my back pocket. I'll have to clean these up when I get home. These were part of the find too. Pretty cool. I'll uh, figure out if there's a date on these at all. I'll let you guys know in the comments. Thanks.